Top of it outdoors. Sitting here in our first set. Just got daylight. You can tell the blue jays are going crazy. I haven't seen a doe yet or deer yet, so we'll stay soon. Hopefully socks are the big eight shows, so see you soon. Hodges out. What's up guys, midday interview I guess, deer movement has been slow, been seeing a lot of birds, a lot of hawks, some red fox, squirrels, but nothing but no deer yet so we'll probably sit it out another hour and a half, maybe two, and after that we'll uh, check some cards and See if we got anything more intel. Kind of expecting this spot to be slow. And the sign is in the back of this property this year instead of out by this corner. I wasn't pushing too hard today, this morning, so I sat back and kind of hashed out the bugs. With all the camera stuff and filming self hunts are pretty difficult. Practice a drawing and squaring up on the objects out there that are 20, 30 yards out. Take some time, take some practice. So it's always the good to get out in deer woods and see what we can come up with. So talking about a deer here in a little bit, an hour or so. I'll let you know. So see you soon. When you drop your phone. What is up, Hodges Outdoors? Got a, some serious turning of events. See that little house back there? Ah, uh, so. This house back here um, butts up to the property that I've been hunting these big bucks at. And uh, man, I, I just felt like I wasn't in the cards. I don't know if you've ever hunted, you don't feel like you're in the cards, you're doing everything right, you're playing the wind, whatever. Whatever the, de the denomination is. But So I ended up doing some door knocking. Ended up uh, finding a good dude and got to talking to him and 
I really just wanted access to get to the back of this cornfield and then I was like, hey man, is there anything, anyone hunting this? And he goes, no, I just actually had some renters move out and he actually took a video of a big buck a couple days ago, actually on this tree. From that house. It's literally 10 yards. He videotaped it for this, with his phone, making a scrape right here. There's another buck. And uh, anyways, long story short, I ended up asking for permission from this dude. And uh, he granted it. He's like, yeah, go ahead. I'll, I'll let you hunt this. He's got probably, I don't know, 40 acres that butts up to the 40 acres I'm already hunting. So, so we just did, uh, I did, I plan on doing a hang and bang on one of my tree stands and hopefully, hopefully get lucky on this big deer. If you watch the end of this video, maybe I'll show it to you. He's, I don't know, he's probably up there around 160, eight point. You know, I don't, I don't necessarily dislike the eight points, but he's an eight, but he's massive. I mean, he's, he'd probably be the biggest buck I've killed. And I've killed some 160s, so, um, but I just, I wanted to show you some of this, this property. It's already scraped up and rubbed up and everything else, so, there you go. Look at that. We got these little scrapes all down through here. So I follow this out, just scouting. And it looks like he's been, the guy who was renting this off this dude, looks like he's been target practicing here and there's a daggone scrape and rub right here. Right there. So, plan, this is just a long, long, long ridge front here with a deep ravine here and it looks like the biggest oaks in this property is right here. Anywhere around here, you look at the topo maps and satellite map imaging, right here. For whatever reason, they did not. There's one, there's a oak back there that's probably eight foot around maybe, 10 foot around. It's absolutely massive. And it's a white oak too. You don't ever see white oaks that big anymore, at least in Ohio. But this ridge front goes way down there. So that's the field edge that we've been hunting. I got cameras on. I'm not getting him on camera on the field edges. But it seems like every neighbor around here, it's two neighbors. There's two areas that's getting pictures of this buck coming through this woodland and this timber area. So there's plenty of white acorns in here for him to live off of. So I don't know if he's just not going to the cornfield or he's got a specific spot that he's going to the cornfield, but I don't know. I'm throwing all the money at him. Everything I know. Hopefully get him down on the ground for you guys. What's up? What's up, Podge Outdoors? Just doing a little hanging, banging. Finally got up into the tree stand. It's a pretty good setup. Got some shooting lanes. Got a shooting lane over the ridge behind me, and then this whole backside is corn. So I believe that's where the the big eight with the stickers coming through it, so it's hot. It's only, it's like 75 degrees. It's it's miserable out here, so I don't expect them to move until about dark. So keep your fingers crossed, and hopefully we see them where they're coming out here on this this back back corner, very far back of this cornfield. So. Probably 30 rows out. It's absolutely mowed down, my dear. so hot. I almost got skins right now, but you don't want to see that.
What is up, Hodges Outdoors? What a day, what a day. My first day of 2024 deer season archery. Man, uh, we saw quite a few deer today. We had one in 17 yards, nice big voluptuous doe, but to be quite honest, it is 75 degrees and I have to work tomorrow and I really don't feel like cleaning a deer doe yet. So uh, we still got deer meat from last year after the three does, or the two does and the buck last year, so. Um, going to try to wait for a uh, colder temperature so we can hang it and do it right. So, um, yeah, we uh, went back in this new spot today, saw six or seven deer today, this evening hunt, didn't see a darn thing in the morning, as you guys know, so uh, still looking for that big eight, haven't laid our eyes on him yet, but I think I'm kind of narrowing it down where he's at, his core value his core home range um, I think he's going between two parcels that he's protected by and uh, we're going to try to split that median and uh, hopefully get him down so I feel like this is gonna be a long journey long dragged out season hunting one deer but man it that's that's the challenge it's what we love to do so uh, we'll see you on the next episode this is just episode one of 2024 so see you soon Hodges out